Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Amazon Certificate Manager, also known as ACM, which is used to provision, manage, and deploy public and private SSL certificates for use within your AWS services. So let's look at ACM a little bit more in detail. It handles the complexity of creating and managing public SSL certificates for your AWS-based websites and applications. It handles two types of certificates. We have public, those are ones that are provided by AWS and they are free. And then you have private. And so these are certificates that you import and they cost $400 per month. You generally just want to use a public certificate. If you ever use Let's Encrypt, those are all public. So if you're comfortable with that, you're comfortable with these ones. Just make sure that when you're creating that uh, certificate, you do not make the wrong choice. I myself have chosen uh, incorrectly. And uh, but luckily, I reached out to AWS support, and before they charged me, they fixed that issue. But that is a tricky one to get your money back on if you make that mistake. So, ACM uh, can handle multiple subdomains and wildcard domains. So, you can see that I'm entering Exam Pro as the naked domain, and then I have a wildcard one. That is the setup I always recommend that you use um, because other otherwise, you'll just have to create a bunch of domains or sorry, certificates later, and that's kind of a pain. And ACM is attached to very specific AWS services or resources. So you can attach it to Elastic Load Balancer, CloudFront API Gateway, and you can apparently use it with Elastic Beanstalk, but I'm imagining that is through the ELB. So those are the three services you need to know that ACM attaches to. So remember that, uh, and there you go.